Good evening, Malpeace and friends. It's Dr. McCoy, and it's time for another Word on Wednesday. Welcome to Bible study. If this is your first time, and even if you've been here before, then welcome back. And I tell you, I always appreciate you all saying good evening to me. So good evening back to you. So glad that you are here. It's been a blessing, you know, to enjoy another day that the Lord has made. Our pastor is the Reverend Dr. J. Vincent Terry Sr. And please remember that we have our Word on Wednesday, our Bible study, every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Good evening, good evening, good evening. So then, I don't know if you can see my shirt, but the Word on my shirt is faith. And then I have their Matthew chapter 17, verse 20. So we're going to be in Matthew on this evening as we think about faith. In particular, we're going to focus on small faith, small faith. So then I have an icebreaker um, here. I don't know if you can see this, but I have mustard seeds. I wonder if I stand and come a little closer if you can see this. I don't know how my video camera is doing right now, but I want you to see, well, if I get too close, it may not focus. But anyway, I stood up in an attempt to show you my mustard seeds, but you've probably seen mustard seeds before. Um, if you go to the grocery store, you can find mustard seeds on like the seasoning aisle or the, um, the spices or something like that, like where there is the, where there's the, salt and pepper and things like that maybe you'll find it and this is what mustard seed looks like i know it's really small but that's our point on this evening okay as we think about small faith let's see what the bible says turn your bible please to matthew chapter 17 as i mentioned i'm going to read that verse 20 like what's on my shirt but i'm going to start with verse 14 so the icebreaker is, have you ever seen mustard seeds? They're really small. I keep holding it up. I don't even know if you can really see it. So I'll just put it down. But just know that mustard seeds are really small. So, okay, so some people have seen mustard seed before. Okay. Um, like I said, if you haven't, then the next time you visit a grocery store, the supermarket, I want you to find mustard seeds. Okay, some people have actually seen a mustard seed okay okay so you've seen a mustard seed so again i'm going to read uh matthew chapter 17 verses 14 to 21 i hope i gave you enough time to find it okay i'm going to read from the new international version and i want you to think about the mustard seed okay the mustard seed so this is a passage of scripture as we think about small faith where Jesus heals a demon possessed boy. So this is what we find here in Matthew 17, 14 to 21. When they came to the crowd, a man approached Jesus and knelt before him. Lord, have mercy on my son, he said. He has seizures and is suffering greatly. He often falls into the fire or into the water. I brought him to your disciples, but they could not heal him. You unbelieving and perverse generation, Jesus replied. How long shall I stay with you? How long shall I put up with you? Bring the boy here to me. Jesus rebuked the demon and it came out of the boy and he was healed at that moment. So in verse 19, the disciples came to Jesus in private and asked, why couldn't we drive it out? He replied, because you have so little faith. Truly, I tell you, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, we're talking about small faith, you can say to this mountain, move from here to there and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. So in Matthew 17, 14 to 21, um, we find Jesus and three of Jesus's disciples returning from the mountain. Uh, the transfiguration, if you read the first part of Matthew chapter 17. So they find this crowd gathered around the remaining nine of the disciples. And this desperate father, as we read, he pleads on behalf of his demon afflicted son who, uh, who, who has these seizures and often falls into water or fire. So the disciples could not cast 
the demon out. So Jesus was exasperated by the doubt of his disciples. And so he goes ahead and he rebukes the demon and heals the boy. So as we read, the disciples then come to Jesus in private and they're like, you know, what's going on? So when they ask why they couldn't do it, Jesus tells the disciples that their faith was too small to cast out the demon. So we're looking and we're seeing here, you know, um, because they have so little faith. That's in verse 20, right? And so we find, though, that even with faith as small as a mustard seed, that's still enough to move a mountain is what Jesus tells the disciples. So when we're looking at this, I want us to think about small faith. And the first thing, if we consider this lesson, really part of the lesson here is the potency of genuine faith, the strength of it. Jesus mentions the tiny mustard seed really as a metaphor for living active faith. Not just saying that we have faith, but being active when it comes to our faith. And so they asked him about why that he could why they couldn't do it. So then when I was thinking about, you know, um, the potency of strong of, of of little faith, of small faith, it's really interesting that Jesus is trying to get them to understand that even though it may be small, it's still possible to do something with that faith. But I wonder why, why the disciples doubt it. I wonder if mm, I wonder if they really wondered if it was even possible. I don't know. When you think about the faith that you have, when you think of the word faith, what comes to your mind? What do you think about? What does faith mean to you? That's the first question I have for us on this evening. What does faith mean to me? What, um, maybe what comes to your mind is what word comes to your mind when you think about faith? Uh, maybe, maybe I should give you some time to think about it first. <laughs> hmm. What word or thought comes to my mind when I think about faith? Maybe faith in God. Maybe faith in people. Maybe we have faith in the signal lights when we're traveling on the roads. Um, maybe when we think of the word faith, we think of the word trust. Okay, you can keep sharing. Maybe we think of belief. Hmm. I wonder if they did not trust in the power previously given them by Jesus. If you were to turn your Bible to Matthew chapter 10, you would find in verse 8, that Jesus had already given them power. So if you look at chapter 10, Matthew chapter 10, it's just a few verses, I mean a few chapters back from 17, right? Jesus says, go rather to the lost sheep of Israel as you go, proclaim this message. The kingdom of heaven has come near. Jesus says in verse 8, heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse those who have leprosy, drive out demons. He says, freely you have received, freely give. So they have been given power back in chapter 10. But I wonder if by the time they got to chapter 17, I wonder if they didn't trust the power previously given them by Jesus. I don't know. Do you trust the power that God has given you? If you've accepted Jesus Christ, then that means that you already have power through Jesus. What size is your faith? Hmm. I wonder if they didn't believe that such power could be exercised through them. Hmm. I wonder if, you know, sometimes if we believe, you know, my grandmother can get a prayer through, but I don't know if I have that kind of power. So that's why we ask grandmother to pray for us and we don't even pray for ourselves. I wonder if we don't believe, you know, in such power being exercised through us. That's why we ask our parents and our pastors and our ministers and everybody else to pray for us. But we fail to pray for ourselves. Hmm. I wonder if that was what was going on with the disciples. 
Well, the fact of the matter is we have to ask what size our faith is and if we have faith at all. Is faith just something that we talk about like an idea or is it something that we activate in our lives? If faith is something that you activate in your life, what does it look like? What does it look like to activate faith? Because Jesus tells the disciples here that, hey, if you have small faith, I tell you, even that small faith, as small as a mustard seed, you can move a mountain from here to there and it you can tell it to move and it will. And he says that nothing will be impossible for you. Maybe the disciples thought that this case of healing this demon-possessed boy, maybe they thought that this specific case was too difficult. Do we sometimes feel like, hey, I have faith, but my faith is not powerful enough for this situation? Well, I want to encourage you on this evening that if you have some amount of faith, you know, some size of faith, then please know that that's enough to activate some things to change in your life. If you have faith, you need to know that Jesus reveals here in this text that the key to power is faith in him. So if you have enough faith in God, then know that that's enough. We're not having this Bible study tonight because I want to criticize you for having small faith. We're having this Bible study tonight because I want to encourage you that small faith is enough faith. Don't let the enemy trick you into thinking, oh, you just believe a little bit. Hey, that's all I need. That's all I need. <laughs> the devil can't trick me. All I need is a little bit of faith. That's right. And the Lord will grow me into greater faith. But all I need, according to the Bible, is small faith. If they had small faith, if they really believed enough, then these disciples could have drove out that demon in that boy. But because they did not, you know, have enough faith, if you will, enough belief in the power that Jesus had given them back in chapter 10, because they didn't have that, then the answer to that question, why couldn't we drive it out? It's because you had so little faith, but even in the little faith you had, you did not believe that that was power enough to make a difference. So Mount Peace and friends, what are we doing with the mustard seed? size faith and some of us have been in this Christian experience long enough to where we have bigger faith our mustard seed has increased but I want to tell you on this evening it's not enough to have faith if you haven't activated that faith so I want to pray with us on this evening about activating our faith, really believing that there's power in the name of Jesus, not just saying faith as if it's just this concept, but it's something to be lived out each and every day. So let's pray. Let's pray. Lord, thank you so much for your word. Thank you, God, for guiding us through your word. Thank you, God, for showing us that the disciples had so little faith, but even in that little faith, God, you showed them that if they had that faith even small as a mustard seed, they could say to the mountain, move from here to there and it would move. Thank you, God, for reminding us that nothing will be impossible for us when we trust in the power of Jesus Christ, not in our own power, not in financial power, God, not in, in, in power when it comes to position, but in the power that we have through Jesus Christ. So I pray, God, if there be one God who has little faith, remind them that that's enough. And if there be one who has no faith, God, I pray that you strengthen their hearts even on this evening. Thank you, God, for the Mount Peace Baptist Church. Thank you, God, for our pastor. And thank you for another opportunity to study your word together. God, we love you and we praise you. Even in the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you, Mount Peace and friends. Just be reminded to hold on to the small faith because small faith makes a difference. Have a great evening. We'll share together next time.